My vengeance ends now. My brothers, we were forged in victory. A victory that ended the Great War and brought forth the reign of Mount Olympus. Born from the depths of the underworld, rooted in the river of souls, our mountain emerged out of the chaos. As it grew, so too did the might of the Olympians. We created a world of peace, a world of prosperity, a world that lives in the shadow and safety of my mountain. A mountain that has come to be the absolute measure of strength and power. Now, on this day, that power is to be tested. The mortal Kratos seeks to destroy all that I have wrought. Brothers! Put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite. We will stand together. And I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail. What's up ladies and gents, Excalizor is here bringing you some God of War 3, oh me oh my, definitely and definitely a good one. And before I get started there's a few things that I want to address and if this is the first video of mine that you have ever watched, chances are you are not going to have a clue of what I'm talking about so please just bear with me, I'll get that over with as quickly as possible. But uh, anyway, I've decided that I want to take my channel in a different direction, which is to post walkthroughs and let's plays and playthroughs and whatever, whatever you want to call it. I prefer that uh, you don't say let's plays because I that 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 name just infuriates me. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I just think it sounds stupid. But I've decided that I want to go back to my roots. Like when I first started doing this YouTube thing two years ago. And then it's the post walkthroughs of all the various next gen games that are out there. Um, if you didn't know, I had a. Uh, this isn't my first account, this is actually my second. My first account was closed because I was a dirty and dirty copyright infringer and YouTube did not like that. <laughs> Uh, I got I got banned for or suspended rather for uh, posting Metal Gear Solid 4 and Konami was butthurt about it so they flagged me and well what's done is done I won't get into that but uh, yeah I, I mean if you didn't know this already Call of Duty is not the only game I play I have uh, lots of other games on my channel I have. Fable 2, The Force Unleashed, uh, some Super Smash Brothers, some Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, Fallout 3, 
and probably some other things. Oh yeah, God of War 2. Definitely should watch that. Kick-ass game. But uh, yeah, pretty much um, I'm shifting my focus away from Call of Duty. Um, I'll still definitely do that, but it's, it's just not my priority anymore. I'm just kind of fed up with the whole Call of Duty craze that Modern Warfare 2 has created. So I... It's time for a change. It really is. But, uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, so, what have we got here? We have got some God of War 3, if you were not paying attention at all. Um, I am playing on Chaos Mode, which is the hardest difficulty in this game. And let me just say, it is cheap, it is frustrating, it is unfair, and you will get pissed off if you play on Chaos Mode. Unless you, I, I don't know, unless you have got the best reaction time and like, you know, hack and slash games are your thing. I mean, it's, I don't, yeah, it, it's very frustrating. Um, I just beat it for the first time uh, a few days ago, I think on Monday or, no, Wednesday. I beat it on Wednesday. And um, when I beat this game, I was like, thank god, it is finally over. But when I beat God of War 2 on Titan, like, I, there was like a feeling of satisfaction when I beat it. It was like, you know, wow, that was fucking good. Dude, that's what he said. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just like God of War 2, like, it challenged, it was an actual challenge to you. Like, it challenged you to be a better player, and I didn't feel at any point it was cheap, but with God of War 3, it's like some of the things, it's just, you, you can't avoid it. Like for instance, um, uh, if you've played this game, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like There's a giant scorpion boss that you fight, and there are a bunch of little scorpions that uh, you also have to deal with, and once you, like, w you uh, weaken them, and then, like, it goes off camera and, like, stops the action, and, like, no matter what's going on. And once it goes back, like, you can be surrounded by, like, a dozen scorpions, and if one guy attacks you, you just get stun-locked and you die. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about that. Um, there was this one instance where I got hit by the uh, boss, and then Kratos decided that he would like to uh, body surf on the edge of the fucking giant box that you were fighting on and of course he body surfs into a crowd of scorpions and proceeds to get pierced up the fucking butt by a bunch of little scorpions and I died it was it, I think I might have <laughs> I might have that recorded so you know if I do you can definitely expect to see that body surfing Kratos into uh, deadly scorpions definitely definitely a good one but, uh, yeah, um, how I plan to handle these walkthroughs, if you're not familiar with how I uh, do these, is um, I'm not, like, into speed runs or, like, no upgrade runs or self-imposed challenges of any kind. It's just not my thing. It's a little too hardcore, even, even for me. Um, you know, I've got all the respect in the world for people who can do that stuff and do it damn well. I know there's a few guys like uh, Shinobi A, Shinobi -er, I'm not sure how to say your name, who does uh, these God of War challenges and I haven't watched his videos personally but I've heard nothing but good things about him so if that's your kind of thing um, you know you should check him out but uh, I, I'm more of a like story driven kind of guy like you know I don't skip cutscenes I'm not ever gonna cut those out um, like for instance right here I'm reading this book for uh, so you can learn the uh, lore and whatnot. Um, you know, I, I feel that story is just as important as the actual gameplay itself and you know, it, cutting stuff, cu cutting that stuff out just takes away from the uh, overall experience. So, uh, it, like, you know, it's also intended for like, you know, people who, you know, they don't have a PS3 right now but they'd like to get one and they want to play God of War 3 and you know, it's for people like that, you know, they don't want to get the game or spend the money right now to, you know, do that. And, you know, that's what it's for as well. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, no cutscenes are skipped. Uh, you know, no self-imposed challenges. You know, I, although I do hold myself to a very, very strict set of standards. Um, I'm sure many of you noticed that I spliced uh, something a bit earlier as soon as I wiped out that first group of grunts. Um, now, I'm not trying to trick you. I, I do that many times. Um, I'll talk about that in the next part as this one is coming to a close. And uh, I'm going to end on this great tip. Green is for health, blue is for magic, and red is for experience. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.